the South Florida Water Management District's Fort Bassinger property has recently undergone a few changes. There is now a low buried fence that surrounds a great portion of the property. The property has been permitted by the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission to take gopher tortoises from other district projects and the fence is there to essentially keep relocated tortoises safe and on the property. There are three designated step over access points onto the property so people don't need to attempt to step over the fence. This recipient site is for internal district projects only, so no gopher tortoises from non-district projects can be relocated to this site. Remember, gopher tortoises are a state-threatened species, and they should not be picked up or harassed. So hi, I'm Brian Garrett. I'm the wildlife biologist with the Southport Water Management District. This is Holly Andriata, uh, also a wildlife biologist with the Water Management District. And we're at Fort Bassinger uh, property today and we're actually releasing tortoises. This uh, Fort Bassinger has been recently established as a long-term recipient site for gopher tortoises. Uh, this will actually end up saving the taxpayers lots of money because uh, we can now relocate tortoises from district projects onto this property. And today we've got one of the largest tortoises we've actually seen. Um, I think we came up with Delia. As, as, as her name. She is a female. She, how much did she weigh? Um, 7.4 grams. 7.4 grams, or kilograms, right? Seven grams. Seven grams? It's kilograms. Kilograms. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, but you can see she's a little shy right now, but uh, earlier, um, and we can show this in the video, um, kind of filming this a little bit out of, uh, out of order. You can see we've actually marked her as the third tortoise that we're bringing onto this property. She was so heavy that we actually had to go to a local veterinarian uh, because our scale only goes up to six kilograms. So we're gonna go ahead and release her. We're gonna dig a, 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 a burrow, uh, sort of a starter burrow for her. Not, it wouldn't be anything close to what, what these tortoises will actually dig. They can dig burrows that can be up to 25, 30 feet um, in length and they can usually go down as much as like 10 to 12 feet. Uh, so we're obviously not digging a burrow like that. We're just gonna dig something she can just get down into just to get out of the sun if she wants to today. And uh, then it'll be up to her to, to create her own burrow out here, which I'm sure she will very soon. All tortoises coming into Fort Bassinger are checked to make sure they are healthy. And at the same time, their sex is determined. They are then weighed, measured, and marked. Each tortoise is marked using notches on specific marginal scales on the tortoise's upper shell. These scales are called scoots. We dug short starter burrows for each relocated tortoise, but after a few days, they're likely to find new locations for their own burrows. So we've picked a spot under some salt palmetto with beautyberry nearby, which is part of their diet, so she should be pretty happy here if she decides to stay. There's a lot to eat in this area. As expected, Delia decided to go check out the rest of Fort Bassinger before establishing her own burrow. Passenger is open to the public for a variety of recreational activities including hunting, hiking, and wildlife watching. I encourage everyone to come check out Fort Bassinger as well as the many other beautiful district properties in South Florida.